most dangerous trek we have to the coral reef right now is the lionfish don't see a lot out today but a lionfish they help the they're helping the coral reef to die and how they do that the, coral, the lionfish they're predators so they eat the small fish remember earlier I'm telling you what a, uh, what a, a grazer fish job is is to help the coral to survive so the lionfish eat those grazer fish the, and they can eat 98% of those small grazer fish so if they eat 90% of those grazer fish what happens to the reef the algae will swallow the reef and kill it so that's why we don't want the lionfish around here also they're not native to our water so that's why you don't find them in the fish ID cards they're from the Indo-Pacific Ocean but how they reach here they have different theory but well, the main theory that they're going with that in 1992 there's a hurricane called Hurricane Andrew that destroyed part of Florida where some folks were raising those lionfish to sell their exotic fish but Hurricane Andrew destroyed their career of releasing those lionfish in the wild so that's why the so that's how the lionfish end up in the Atlantic Ocean also, also on the starboard side there's a you might see a nurse shark straight out there swimming over the coral reef oh we're not gonna see it behind the reef now man oh it's behind the reef it's behind the reef let go over the reef so once they hear the noise of the submarine they swim away very fast there so i'm probably gonna try to go over the reef here okay. so if we see it spot it so that's a big boy a nurse shark. Yeah, nurse shark. That's the most common shark we see in this area. Feed on crustacean. I think that's nurse shark of Sumawi. Yeah, that nurse shark of Sumawi. Straight down. Oh, a line? Oh. oh, it's a wire. Oh, that's a cable for channel down here. Fish them watch TV down here. Oh, that line there is a rope from a small boat there, a naughty fisherman was anchored there. The line, uh, the anchor gets stuck. Rather than pull it up, rather cut the rope and flee the scene. So get it back to those live fish. So how we tried to get rid of the lion fish. So the, sorry, the first time we spotted of a lion fish was in 2007. And from then on, our government have an eradication program to get rid of uh, going on to get rid of those lion fish. So we have volunteer divers that come down here and catch those lion fish. Why? Because they're edible. They're very good to eat. So that's how we try to get rid of the lion fish by eating them. So you can go to any local restaurant here and you get those lion fish to eat. That's how we do in our part here, the Cayman Islands, is by eating them. Diver that do your part by eating those live fish. They make good fish taco, also the live fish. Yes. Yes, live fish taco. 
So we're back over the sandy here. For the percent of sand come from natural erosion, mean wave beating on limestones and shells. But the next 60% of sand come from unlikely source called a parrot fish. A parrot fish can produce a pound of sand each day. That's a whole load of sand. How they do that, they graze a fish. They do nibble an algae during the day. But once they nibble an algae, they take a chunk out of the limestone. But their digestive system cannot digest the limestone. So what their digestive system do, crush the limestone in the powder, and they go through the rear end with a four letter word starting with S. And they want to watch that word, cyan. So that's why they go to the beach, 60% of the sand stuck to your body, in front of the parrotfish poop. Now we know, right? So some more interesting facts about those parrotfish. In their harem, they have seven female to one male parrotfish. But if something do happen to that male parrotfish in their harem, the dominant female will take over the harem. And how she do that? She will change her gender to male. But if a dominant come, if a dominant male comes along before she fully changes into a male, she will change back into female. And they can do that three times in their life without surgery. So not just the parrotfish can change their gender, you have the snappers, groupers, hogfish, they can change their gender. But they can't do it once. All the female give birth to female once they fully mature, some of the female will change their gender to male. So right now we can see some of the more of the garden eels here on the starboard side. See the garden eels sticking out of the side, also on the port side straight down, they look more like a worm looking object. And also you can see their head in one direction, that's where the current is coming from.